How do I customise the Moodle dashboard? Everyone in Moodle has their own personal page called their dashboard. On many Moodle sites you'll be taken to the dashboard once you're logged in. If not, you can get to it by clicking the link in the user menu or in the navigation drawer. Administrators can specify this setting from Site Administration, Appearance, Navigation. The dashboard shows courses the student or teacher is enrolled in. As an administrator, you can access all courses without enrolling in them, so you won't see much on the dashboard, as here. So let's look instead at the dashboard of a student on a different site. Here is Student Mark's dashboard. Each section is a block. The Course Overview block shows his courses with progress bars. These appear when activity completion is enabled in the courses. His Course Overview is displaying all his courses, but he can change that view. If the course start date is in the future, it won't appear in the In Progress section. Courses may be bookmarked or starred from the three dots and then quickly located. He can also hide courses in the same way and if he needs to find them, he simply filters hidden courses. Courses may be displayed either by their title or by last access. The course images or cards can be added by teachers from the course settings. And instead of this display, there's also the option to see them as a list, as here, or as a summary, as here. Zooming out, we see the timeline over on the right, where student mark can sort items by due date and filter the display by date or courses. The recently accessed courses block displayed here in the central area shows just those courses you were most recently active in, while the starred courses block, also in the centre, displays courses you've bookmarked or starred. As an admin, you can control the course overview from Site Administration, Plugins, Course Overview. You can define which of the layouts, card, list or summary, or all of them, are displayed. And you can also specify available course type filters or leave them as default. Also as admin, you can define which blocks are available on everyone's dashboard from Site Administration, Appearance, Default Dashboard. Turn on the editing, delete blocks you don't want, add blocks that you do want and then click Reset Dashboard for all users. Remember though that each user can customise their own dashboard blocks. To summarise, the dashboard is a personal, customisable page for all users enrolled in courses. Admins can specify the default dashboard blocks from Site Administration, Appearance, Default Dashboard.